Fine! <laughs> this thing's gonna cut sick. Oh, he hit the f I don't know what the best bit of today was, but this is. <laughs> Well, we are out on a magical day. Uh, what a way to start the day. Come around the corner, there's sharks everywhere. A few lemon sharks, a lot of nervous sharks, a lot of seaweed. Um, but yeah, we are out just on an exploratory mission. Um, we've got easterlies blowing today, so we're just hugging the west side of the coast. Um, yeah, we are just gonna take you along with us and see what we get up to, and hopefully we find some shit. Hey, babe. <laughs> Catch us. Should I catch him? No. Look, he doesn't even want to go with his parents. Babe, you guide the boat. Uh. Yeah, I got him, I got him. Here. Oh, oyster rocks. Yeah, please, maybe not. Oh, he's running. No! I can't get him. <sighs> All right, you're going, little fella. He's fat. He's really fat. He's really young, too. Oh, he can't even, oh, he's got his foot caught on a stick. <laughs> Yawn. Look how chubby! He's struggling. He's that fatty, can't even get up the hill. So we're just cruising through the mangroves having a gander. Look at this funny fella. I think he's been chewing on too much seaweed. <laughs> hey bro, bro, it's alright. Let's go. Let's go. Look out, Dad! <laughs> I cut your leg. <laughs> well, that was a cool encounter. Noose it. Jason. <laughs> you are so naughty. <laughs> Look at the shell on that leg. Oh, ow, ow. Now that is pretty. Hey, little dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Woohoo! <laughs> nice catch. He's snapping gears. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was not. 
happen. Meant to happen the way you thought it was gonna happen. What do you mean? Well, it happened exactly how you thought it was gonna happen, but it shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? I planned that. So we we're just cruising along the shore, and um, after you know what you're looking for, you can spot it quite easy. We've seen this low-lying part here, low hills dipping down. We're literally right on the water's edge. And here where we live, this is how you find water. Um, a lot of the water is coastal water um, and it's filtered through the sand and the rock. Here we have a lot of rock, a lot of limestone rock through here. There's rock out in the water. We got our own waters. Well, I got my water. Goats over there running up the hill. They got a full gut, big fat gut, barely can run up the hill. Oh, smells like goats. But anyway, the kangaroos are the ones with the excavating equipment. They will come in and actually dig the holes. And then the goats and all the other animals will come in and they'll drink out of the same holes. Oh, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> this is a goat graveyard, boy. I suppose they come here expecting the roos to come here for water and yeah. in the summer it's just not there. And then there's nothing here, poor fellas. Wow. The goat graveyard. Oh, imagine how big that thing would have been. So that is the remains of a big conch shell. You can imagine if that was full and come out, how big that shell would actually be. Mm. So I'm assuming that because this is a freshwater site where the animals are coming, this also, and these big shells here are a dead giveaway, this would be um, where my ancestors would have came. They would have came here, had a feed, had a drink, everything else. You know, fresh water here, food, why wouldn't you? So this is where the goats have been drinking out of. The ones that just walked off. Goat guna in there, so I'm definitely not able to taste. Wow, you are so close. You can see it. Get away. We don't want to dig too deep, so I've found the water. You just let that water pool up and get in there. In the shade of the camera, can you hold him down in the shade? Ah, cave in. So that water pooling up there, that will be fresh. <laughs> hey, if I was desperate and I was dying, I'd be on that water instead, I tell you. But we're not. So we're just going to have a quick little fish, you want a couple fish for dinner, hopefully in these nice little shallow spots we can pick up a nice tusky or a nice black snapper. Um, we got a little rod so you know it does, it is a bit of a challenge but that's what we're here for so let's see what happens. Okay babe, cast. Right where I told you. <laughs> oh shit, they go hard, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> For the size they are, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, beautiful Eden size. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is what we come here for. You got him, babe. You got him. You got him. Oh, there he is. Here he is. He's not even there. He's not huge. <laughs> Good work, baby. Look at the colors on that thing. God. Yeah, he's going back. We need one a little bit bigger. I'll get him off. All right, let him go. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, the crab leg! No, the crab. <laughs> What's that fish sitting on the ground? Hey? What's that fish sitting on? Is that a baby cod? Nah. Yeah, it is. What is he? Hey, something, something kicking up under there too. <laughs> that thing there smashed it out with me. Look here, you can see where he tried to bolt into the reef. Plucked himself up a little bit. What do you do, babe? Got him back. Got him back. Tag it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Tag it. Tag it. Oh, shit, I say. Oh, what happened? No, it wasn't my knot, was it? Oh, it was right near the knot. Babe, that was a goodie. It was right there too. Oh, they're coming. Oh, you know what? It would have been a nick from the last one when he reefed me. Oh. Every time, I reckon, when you get, when they do that to you, you should just re-rig. Remember that big, huge one? That time, you remember? When I, when I got into the side of the boat after he got me in the reef and I went to pick him up with the line and the line snapped and his head just went boom, and he just went back down to the bottom and just slowly swam up. Remember, he was huge. He was huge. Yeah, and, it was, and I just watched him swim away. Fuck. That's, that's what I just felt, but different.